floss tube. Hi, floss tube. We're three sisters, three stitchers. And I'm Kathleen. I'm Rosemary. And this is Maybell. And this is Myrtle. And the third stitcher, Virginia, is home in Michigan. She couldn't be with us, but we thought we'd film a little quick video on some of our exploits of where we've been, what we've been doing, and some haul and some whips. Exactly. Let's put the little so, girls down. Okay, Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. So bye. <laughs> there we go. Off we go. We've just returned from uh, Dublin and Belfast. Uh, Virginia was with us on that trip, but she had to go back to Michigan. And um, so we found out that in Dublin, and basically the parts of Ireland we were in, there's no cross-stitch. So when we got back, we headed to New Jersey. And we went to Needleworkers Delight in New Jersey, which is a 5,000 square foot cross-stitch store. And it's just amazing. It was absolutely wonderful. It's loaded with fabric. Uh, as far as I know, every thread that's out there for doing any kind of uh, cross-stitch needlework. And uh, patterns galore. Uh, finished projects that you can actually see what they look like when they're done. So we had a great, well, we spent three hours there, so obviously we had a great time. <laughs> yes, so we're going to show you a little bit of our haul. 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 <laughs> and then we're going to uh, show you just a few of our whips that we're working on. So you want to go first? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I got an ink circles. Uh, and I also bought all the threads to go with it when I was there. I also bought a Sasuma, which I absolutely love. I'm into color. Uh, every room in my house is a different color, so this is perfect for me. Uh, Kathleen decided not to buy this. Why, I don't know. But as soon as she decided to not do that, it went straight into my basket because I love cardinals. And I just saw this finished on Instagram. Uh, somebody in one of the cross-stitch groups just did this, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So I, I regret not keeping it. <laughs> I will pass it on to her when I do it. Now, we don't know when that's going to happen, but, you know. Uh, and then this is also another, uh, the Cardinal is Stony Creek. This is another Stony Creek. And when I saw this uh, stocking, I couldn't resist. Um, I'm going to see what my husband feels about it, but I'm kind of inclined to do something for him. But we'll see. Either way, I'm going to do it because I just think it's great. And one of the things Kathleen and I tried to do at the shop, too, was find designers that we were not familiar with so we could step out of our boundary, our comfort zone, and do some new things. And this was one that I thought was fabulous. It's probably got close to 60 different colors of threads, but I'm looking forward to doing it. It's beautiful. So, okay, darling, it's all yours. All right, well, she made fun of me because I spent a lot more money than she did. But I'll show you what I got. Um, this is Nikki's Creations Summer Scissors Sampler. And I bought the fabric to go with it. And then I bought one of my absolute favorites, which is Shepherd's Bush. And it's from C to C. And this came all kitted up to actually finish it with the, the backing fabric and uh, the little chenille for the edging of it. And then I bought on the, this was in the discount bin. This is Tea Party Sampler or Tea Cozy. It's by Thea's Designs. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's uh, all cross stitch here. And then some specialty stitches and some ribbon work. And it comes with uh, all the, the thread accessory pack. So this should be really pretty. You can then cut it, if you don't want to frame it, you can cut it and turn it into a Tea Cozy. And, um, okay, and the other uh, cross stitch I bought was Filigram. It's called Cozy Winter, and I thought it was really cute. I've never seen this uh, 
cross stitch before by filigram. And I bought uh, some hand dyed silk weaver fabric to go with it that Rosemary had picked out. I think it'll look really cute. And then I got uh, three patterns from Jeanette Douglas Designs. And there's four in a series. I have three of them. Uh, one is the Summer Flower. The other one is the Winter Deer. The third is the Spring Bird. And they all come with the floss and beads. And the fourth one is called Autumn Acorn. And Needleworkers Delight is going to order that for me. So once I get that, I think I'm going to put all four on one piece of fabric. I think it'll look really cute. And then the last thing is we both bought grab bags of uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. So this is all hand dyed, 14 count beta. And perfect size for traveling, small designs. Uh, fabric comes already surged. And just really some pretty, pretty colors. So we each got, I got two bags, you got one bag right. of that. And um, that's it for haul. So uh, hold on, we'll be right back with whips. <laughs> All right, so we're back with whips. So what do you have? Uh, well, what I have that I took on the trip to uh, Dublin was I took a prairie schooler. It's the first one I've ever done. Um, it's normally not my style, but I have to say I really loved doing this, and I will continue to do some more of these Prairie School Santas. And they I really love it. They turn out beautiful. They really do. They really do. This is on 18 count, uh, I want to say oatmeal, but I don't think. I think it's Fiddler uh, Ada. But anyway, I find Ada is good for travel. It's easier to see, so if you don't have your special light and your special magnifiers that we have at home, uh, Ada seems to work the best on the road, at least for me. And then I have uh, Priscilla Blaine and Carol Haberman, uh, hands-on design, uh, Chicken Joy. Chicken and Joy. I've just loved doing this. This has been so much fun. Um, both of my patterns should be finished within the next week for sure. That's it for now. All right. And I've been working on uh, Sue Hillis Designs, Alphabet and Blank. And uh, I took this with us to Ireland, so I was working on this at night and on the train. And I'll show you how far I've gotten. So that is how far I've gotten. And that's on color and cotton fabric. Uh, the color is parrot, and the thread is color and cotton galactic. And then this is also in one of Rosemary's bags that she makes, which are just really cute. She made me a little sheet bag. And then I have another one I haven't started yet. Uh, this is in another bag that Rosemary made. She just gave me, it's beautiful. It's quilted. It's got a little quilted butterfly on it. It's really, really pretty. But I'm gonna start uh, a Quaker study by Carriage House Samplings. And I'm going to do it in color and cotton bubblegum fabric. And I'm going to do it in one color, which is going to be a color and cotton cherry cordial. So it's going to be a companion piece to my Sue Hillis design. So they'll both be done in a single color. So um, that's it for whips right now. Uh, just remember, uh, we've been watching videos and a lot of uh, stitchers have said, and we can't reiterate it enough, is step out of your comfort zone, pick fabric colors that may not be recommended on the pattern itself, but you'd be surprised uh, what a color change can do, and, uh, you know, pick your own colors, too. Just have a good time, you know. There are no rules or super regulations to this. Just have fun right. and enjoy yourself. Right. Okay, so that's it. All so right. we'll see you next time, Floss Tube. Bye, everyone.